I think the most important thing is to realize that you're not alone. I, I think uh, it can feel very lonely. Uh, I'm speaking from experience. People, especially because people around you, when you are diagnosed with, with a condition like retinitis pigmentosa, and this is my, my diagnosis, so your, your family and your friends and the colleagues, they, they're not able to understand. They are looking at you and you look the, the ex, exactly the same as you've always been looking. You just know now I have a, I have retinitis pigmentosa and they, and they, and, and it, so, so nothing has really changed in how you appear. But what has changed is that inside of the person, there's chaos and externally you are still you. So that is, that is very, very lonely. So it's very important to grieve, to give yourself the time to, to adjust to this new life situation without trying to, to neglect it. We, we want to be brave, we want to be perceived as brave, but I think we need to allow ourselves to feel the grief and to be sad about it. And then I think it's important that the quicker you are able to discuss and share how you actually feel, how, you, how this is impacting your inner life, the more it won't grow to be a huge monster inside of you. So for me, I, I created a huge thunderstorm in front of me that was always sort of an arm's length away from me. And that is not healthy. But again, that was the journey that I needed to have. So there, there is a, there is a, the, it's, it's a, it's a paradox here because I think, I think the healthy thing is to, to be around people and that you can do that today in communities like for instance, the Blind Canvas project. You can you can engage here, you can meet people who are in the same situation. You don't have to explain all this happen. Your your difficulties, people will understand it and, and be able to be with that. And knowing that there will be light at the end of the tunnel. And that as, a, as an old expression, uh, this too shall pass is, is, a, is an old saying. And, and, and this too shall pass, not not that I will become, be able to see like I, I did, but there I will somehow adapt to it. And, and, and by, by not pushing it in front of you, but, but looking at it, look it in the eye, confront it, uh, challenge it, be in it. I think that's, uh, and then reach out to people. You no, know, seek people who can give you advice, who can help you when you need it. The pendulum. It rings for everyone. So I think the, the most important thing is to, to just, and it's easier said than done, and it's a, such a cliche, like being in the moment, it's like, oh, come on. It's like, not that BS again, like, but yeah, but I think there is a reason why it's a cliche. It's because it's been repeated for for millennia. And, and I can, from experience, say that the way that I perceived reality changed when I was able to uh, change my my inner dialogue. So so in the moment, change the ah oh, not again voice to ah oh, let's see what this will bring us. So that is simply what you have to do, and it sounds too easy. Now that can. That can't solve my problems. Nobody can solve your problems. You can only be in the moment and be conscious about how you, you enter the next moment. That's it.